Oh no, I'm to granddad's allotment. I'm not the allotment today, I'm back at, back at home. Uh, I'm gonna do my chilies and my onions. So I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, yeah, that's some of, some of my, my onions and leeks, which I did on uh, 31st of December it was, Christmas Eve. Um, let's see what they were. 15, 16, 17. Uh, so we've got Autumn Giants, uh, Senshu Yellow Onions, Ilsa Craig Onions, and some Silver Skins. So they've just been doing on the, um, the windowsill upstairs. They're up now. Um, I've moved them down into outside. I'm going to put them into stacker boxes. I use these uh, as a sort of temporary stopgap between um, uh, you know the outside is, is like a cold frame um, we're still going to get the light and uh, the water I'll just put a little bit of water on the bottom and I'll just put them outside during the day and I get the get the light so that's my first lot of onions done got some more to sow now we've got the space on the windowsills, so they're done. I'll, I'll re sow some, some onions. Um, same with my chilies. Uh, again, these were, were done 31st of December, um, 7 and 8. So we've got Hot Thai Dragon and Hot Rukita. These are pointed sweet peppers, orange and yellow. Some of them haven't come up, uh, but these have been on a heated mat. Um, most of them come up within a week and they're at this sort of stage, or sort of a stage where I'll, I'll start and pop them on and then I'll put them into the, um, the stacker boxes. Um, 12, 12. Hot Serrano pepper and Hungarian hot wax. 14. Uh, that's a Chenzo black. So they'll be getting potted on shortly and I'll put them into the the ones that haven't come up. I'll go back onto the heated mats. Um, they tend to be a little bit hotter chilli. Um, so they've been, uh, what are we on now? Um, middle of January. So two weeks. Two weeks they've had. Um, the, other, the other seeds could take a little bit longer. So I'll be putting them up shortly. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to pop up some more onions and some more peppers. Let's see what I've got here. Onions I'll tend to do in little pots because they're easier to, to break up um, and I, I tend to just put them in a, you know, a windowsill type tray, cover them up till they start to sprout, take the lid off, keep them over the windowsill for, for a week uh, or so and then they're at that stage that's two weeks growth. So. I'll move these over to the um, to the greenhouse in a, in a couple of weeks and just in the, the stacker boxes. I've got a few different sorts to, to pot up. So this is just everyday grocery cotton compost, nothing special. So we'll just uh, still plenty of time for, for leeks and onions yet. 
and, and chilies. Uh, so it's only in the middle of January, but I'll uh, try to get the chilies and that started a little bit earlier. But I've only got two two heated mats, so I can only do um, sort of four of them trays at a time. Um, so I have to sort of stage them. I tend to put my hottest hottest ones in first, and then my sweet chilies after they've sort of shooted up, and I've got them. Right, let's see what we've got here. So that looks like a shallot. Red shibaloo. Shibaloo. You can see that red dragon. They look like shots. Mm. Well, let's have them first. Doesn't feel as well as many seeds in here. Let's have a look. Oh, it says 50. In the package, but I may be wrong, but it doesn't look like 50 to me. Never mind, the shallots, if they are shallots, they'll split up. So, so they're in, let's get the chance. Compost over the top. Shibuli Red Dragon Shallots. So, I'll not bore you with, uh, with doing the rest, but I'll finish off these onions, saw all these up, and then I'll, I'll come back and show you what I'm doing with the chilies. Right, that's the onions, second sown, done. So what have we got? We've got um, more Senshu yellow, um, we've got some more Ilsa Craig, and we've done some more Autumn Giant Leeks. So they just need a bit of a water. They'll go, uh, say, on the, uh, the windowsill upstairs. Um, can't find me watering can, so I've got the, the bends duck, the ground bends duck. So a bit of water in them. That's them done. They go upstairs. Right, we've got to look at um, popping up some of these so I can use these again for my, my heated propagator. So I'm going to start and put some of these up. Show you what I'm doing. And the, again, these will go into the uh, the stacker boxes and they'll just stay outside or in the greenhouse now. Um, there's a little dimmer. So which ones we've got? Which one? About 10. Uh, pointed orange and pointed yellow. Sure. 
Sharpie. No, they're a little bit leggy, but you just plant, plant them in plenty deep. I'm growing loads of chilies this year. Um, I, want, I want loads of different sorts of chilies. That, that's the whole idea of doing the, the big greenhouse. There's going to be chilies in there and then uh, things in the raised bed below. Um, the, the racking is going to be uh, things like onions and brassicas and courgettes and you know just things that we we'll use every day so what did that do with some extra space for so greenhouse really it's, it's all extra space um because it was really it was just the fruit cage so um i was only growing fruit in there and i wasn't getting it to its full potential i've still got raspberries in there uh, and i've moved the, the current bushes out outside they'll take that chance outside Right, I'll uh, I'll continue with these and uh, get back to you. Right, guys, just to to finish off, before my battery goes on my my phone. Um, chilies. I'm gonna sow a few more. I have got loads and loads of chilies, um, like self saved saved seed, um, from the, the last couple of years. And I've sown some this year and they come up so that you know they're, they're fine if anybody wants any um, chili seeds um, just let us know um, send us a, a, a message or put a message in the in the chat and then I'll uh, I'll private message you and, and you can send us a, a stamped addressed envelope and I'll send you as many as you want um, we've got things like uh, KN yellow Hungarian hot wax Joe's long um, Bark as hot, KN, um, Joe's long, yeah, loads and loads of chilies. If anybody wants any, um, you need to get it in quick because you need to get them planted. Um, so I've got a few more here which I didn't do. Um, I'm gonna gonna add a few more, um, do a few more. My propagator, so I've run out of these, I've only so I haven't got enough to do one full tray. So I'm just going to do a couple of these. Two of these fit in the propagator, um, in the heated sort of propagator. So right. Oh, what have I not got? Bark as hot. So, uh, let me see. Well, I've got hundreds. And I will keep... Uh, starting. Just, just keep some. doing three in each cell which should be enough and it should be easy to split then Jew, excuse me Right, I'll sew these and then I'll come back when I finish. Right, so that's um, done. Just 
just up over the top. These will go up in the propagator upstairs. So I've just done um, five, some pointed sweet peppers, um, some more bark as hot, some uh, scotch bonnet, African scotch bonnet. Six, what was that? Sweet banana. These have already got stuff in, so I'm, I'm just doing them on the other side of you know where I've taken stuff out because they haven't germinated yet. There's still time for them. You know, some peppers take uh, a couple of weeks. You know, some of them the hotter generally the hotter it is, the longer it takes to propagate. So that's them. Um, Right, so I'll show you what I've done. Let's say if anybody wants any chilies, just feel free to um, put a put uh, a comment in the uh, in the box below, and um, I'll reply back to you, and we'll uh, we'll get some up to you. Right, so that's a, a few chilies there done. They're going to go into the propagator back upstairs. I'll show you what I've done with the the other ones. So I put them up. Put onions there as well. So the, these will come out during the day. Um, but in the meantime, they'll they'll sit in the the doorway there uh, of the of the sunshed. Right, catches in a bit. Right, guys, I'm gonna sign off there because my battery is nearly done. So yeah, if anybody wants any chilies, uh, leave a message and I'll get them to you. Uh, other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.